How to set up and use the BG Sentinel for general monitoring of mosquitoes. Dr. Scott Gordon, medical entomologist for over 40 years, will guide us through the setup. When using the BG Sentinel to monitor general mosquito populations in a natural environment, we recommend using the BG Lure and in addition, carbon dioxide. By using carbon dioxide, you can increase both the number of mosquitoes and the number of species that are collected. We recommend doing a 24-hour catch, and we use a battery power, a 12-volt battery, and this enables you to set the trap wherever you'd like to put it. Now, there are two types of CO2 that are available uh, commercially that you can use, either dry ice or bottled gas. And when using dry ice, we recommend about a kilogram of dry ice, dry ice, in this case we're using dry ice and nuggets. So we'd use about a kilogram, put it in an insulated container, and this can just sit inside the bottom of the trap. Well, today we're going to be using uh, bottled CO2. This is a two kilogram bottle, and this is a, enough to do four 24 hour sampling periods if you're using a rate of about a half of a kilogram per day. Uh, with uh, CO2 bottles, you're going to need a regulator, and Biogens has a regulator available that you can use uh, with a CO2 tank, and it has a uh, markings on here to uh, show you where different levels of CO2 uh, release are. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. Dr. Gordon first screws the pressure regulator onto the gas bottle and tightens it with a wrench. He then connects the gas tube to the pressure regulator. The other end of the tube is attached to the CO2 emitter nozzle that fits snugly onto the BG lure cartridge. Finally, the CO2 valve is opened, which starts the flow of CO2. We recommend adjusting the CO2 flow rate to 0.5 kilograms per day, which is about one pound per day. This is the default amount most of the researchers work with. To switch the trap on, connect the battery cable securely to the battery. A 12 volt motorcycle battery rated at 12 amp hours should run for at least 24 hours. The trap is now running, indicated by the funnel flap in the open position. Proper positioning of the trap is very important to maximize catch rates. A good position for the trap is in a shady, humid, and wind-protected place, for example, under overhanging bushes. After 24 hours, Dr. Gordon returns to collect the mosquitoes and bring them back to the lab. Dry ice can be used in case mosquitoes are to be analyzed for pathogens. When they are only going to be identified to species, placing them in a cool container is sufficient. With the trap still running, Dr. Gordon places a label with the date and trap location in the catch bag and removes the catch bag, holding it inside the suction current of the trap to prevent mosquitoes from escaping. Then he disconnects the battery, disassembles the trap, and returns the mosquitoes to the lab where they are frozen for future identification. Back at the lab, Dr. Gordon freezes the captured mosquitoes and then identifies them as time allows. Because the mosquitoes collected with the BG Sentinel do not pass through the ventilator fan, they are usually in good shape to identify. 24-hour collections with the BG Sentinel trap are a standard monitoring technique for assessing mosquito populations. By using CO2 and BG lure as supplemental attractants, you can attract a wide range of species with the highest catch rates. Biogen's traps allow you to collect mosquitoes in the most efficient and cost-effective way.